Сегодня по программе у нас э, перелет качу. Методика, постановка элемента и тонкости исполнения. Today we're going to talk about the release elements catch off. We have we, uh, Anatoly is going to explain how need to teach what's the technique of doing good catch off. Ну я посмотрел всех гимнастов, которые участвуют в этом сборе, и 80% где-то неправильно делают поворот. Uh, unfortunately, we will talk a little bit uh, extra about swings half turn. We can, because after observation of our squad, this week 80% of boys doing the slightly wrong technique, using wrong technique, simple turns on high bar. In uh, gymnastics there are rules. Every turn starts from the distance of the opponent. Every coach must remember rules about the turning. Every turn has to do start from the point which is away from the con uh, body contact with apparatus. In our case, every turn has to away from the bar, start from the toes. Это касается не только перекладины, но и на кроватике, на брусьях, на почти на всех снарядах. This rule must apply from any apparatus, any turning position when the gymnast has contact with apparatus. If you start looking at the tumblings, contact, the body contact goes from the feet, from the lowest point, and upper point of the body, the shoulders or arms, Obviously, start the rotation from the shoulders before start finish the rotation from the feet. Касаясь брусья, вы делаете мах, обязательно должен начинать опорная рука должна быть вначале ноги поворачиваются, а потом выход на опор. So about pivots, if you do swings on pivots, swings forward, you start feeling support on your shoulders, and still you start turning from the feet, from the toes, any element. Если вы выполняете в начале мах, а потом начинаете поворот, поворот начинается от плеч. So if you do you swings forward on pivots and start turning body from the shoulders, you you will get create lots of problem, including you will legs will be open, rotation will be uncomfortable. Отсюда происходит перекос и неправильный выход на опору. So the position on body a little bit more wonky and very uncomfortable, very. Uh, Wrong doing technically element. No, it is theory. Yeah, now it is so concerned with the It's just a general remind about the principle of gymnastics. Now we're going to look particularly the high bar turning. Положение здесь должны начинать вращать. Первый уходит мы, потому что точка опоры это далее. So the contact with the body from the hands, from the high bar with the hands. Longest point is the toes. Start rotation from the toes. Это позволяет ему войти в опору, чувствовать опору и закончить поворот без без перекоса. So this action helps him to gymnast complete the turn and start feeling the support on the bar when shoulders totally open and gymnast comfortably feel safe on the bar. Если он начинает положение как позже, то у него начинается поворот и начинается поворачивать плечи, и он уходит от опоры. Поэтому чем раньше вы начнете поворот, тем раньше вы почувствуете опору на этом месте. If gymnast doing turn in wrong time, start using the shoulders on hips too soon, gymnast breaking the body line. Gymnast start looking a bit wonky, contact which will be unsafe, sometimes finish a wonky position in handstand, and gymnast feel a bit vulnerable and scared. First step of teaching the swings half. Надо начинать поворот без отпускания руки, только плюс. So you must teach gymnasts from small swings 
keeping always hands together and turning only feet. End of the swings, turn the feet. Yeah. Finish swings, turn the feet. Hands stay holding bar. No, его проблема, потому что он немножко тянет ноги. Вначале надо расплеснуть, а потом поворачиваться. Он сразу снизу начинает поворачивать. On this case, he's not using hang enough. He's not relaxing his hips. So no, he's not doing enough kick. He's doing very short. He's trying to move his feet too early. It doesn't look like natural swings on the bar and making it even more harder to turn the body. Third swings. Third swings. Okay. He understood. So just make sure when you gymnasts doing simple swing action, they doing dish, relax, kick, end of dish, relax, kick, turn. Okay. No, not push the руку. Сначала без отпускания руки надо поставить. Okay, he's released hands too soon. In this stage, coach asks him to turn as much as possible with hold on the bar. So you have to use maximum body turning before releasing the bar. Еще ошибка. Когда делается поворот, кисть должна проворачиваться, чтобы кисть не осталась внизу. Это не это. Не было внизу. Обязательно делать лед поворот, опорная кисть. It's very important when gymnasts turn turning, you have to shift the wrist. Finally position the wrist must be shift before it gets support. Otherwise contact would be not unsafe. Okay. This is not too bad. I think you find it way. What is much comfortable support? Maybe need stand a little bit higher to get more support for gymnast. That's up to you. And finally, the gymnast must do from good swings, kick, turning, release the hands. And finally, catch the bar when he finishes the turn. Why? Because this is the basis of the turn. It will give you progress. Do it with a push turn. The same thing as class. Class, yeah. So this simple turn will open the door for many elements, including swing half with hops. Then you can teach the gymnast swing half hop with full turn with get class. And generally, you gymnasts get feeling of the bar. In a, in a. And particularly when gymnasts will do rebalco, if any problem in turns, gymnasts will try to catch by one arm rebalco, but will be very wonky. So it never get a good position in handstand and vertical. All mistake will be come from the beginning of the gymnastic career. Некоторые тренеры сейчас пытаются этот решить вопрос поворотом и стойку со страховкой на 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 перекладе. In modern gymnastics, the lots of coaches try to try to different techniques. They use in the very late turn, which is almost closer to the vertical, just before vertical turn, not to use an early turn. Я тоже привержен этой страховке и начинал с этой страховки на наверху на перекладе. Но вначале надо пройти этот этап. Тогда не будет у вас проблем. So Anatoly said from his experience when he was young, he started teaching gymnasts very simply, very late turn near handstand, and there's nothing wrong with that. But advice is, if you given an experience turning on the bar. In, in total, you will get better result. You give it more exp understanding the principle for turn for your gymnast. Теперь покажу именно с отпусканием руки в лёжку на перекладе. 
Okay, now he will do with three release in the bar. Just swings half with release in the bar quietly. Okay. So that's quite good performance. As you see, it doesn't look very difficult, quite simple, but very important to get given to your uh, gymnast experience of practices and trying to achieve very similarly what you just see by the gymnast. Ну а теперь перейдем к перелету, который называется скачок. Окей, next we're going to talk about catch off. Ну, вы, конечно, знаете, что это русский гимнаст, который первый делает упражнение. Everybody knows by name, sounds like Russian name, said gymnast from Russia, Alexander Tkachev, first person who was perform this element. И потом это упражнение получило эволюцию. Uh, variation of catch off. Somebody does with straight, somebody with, with twists. Eventually, people make different body shape and call different names. Uh, at the same time, coaches understand the principle biomechanically how need perform catch off, how need catch off, and we created very different techniques, very different what actually been done by Alexander Tkachev in the beginning. So now we're going to talk about evolution and about uh, how they look practically, this variation of the Tkachev. Надо приблизить гимнасту правильность исполнения движений, ритм этого упражнения. First of all, we need to teach gymnasts the rhythm. What is good rhythm of the doing swing action for catch off? Вначале надо, потому что это в принципе не так часто в гимнастике, потому что это немножко нелогичное движение, но потому что надо so, because it's very unlogical, if gymnasts go in one direction and suddenly on, uh, you need to change direction, so you're walking from backwards to forwards, it's why a little bit strange in the first. And best to use uh, straps and using swings on straps bar, teaching the action. So the, if you see the gymnast doing good action, you, the body, you can see a body wave. If you, you make different action with arms in the wrong time, you stop in the wave. What does it mean? So if after passing vertical, you kick, if you push in hands, push it back too early, you stop and feet come backwards, in reverse. So from kick, you need to very control the shoulders and more focus about feet, how the feet go down before finally push. You understand? This makes sense. This is the most important mistake that many do gymnasts. Because they don't finish the legs, they start working with their hands. 
естественно, расхлест останавливается. У них прекращается поступальное, поступательное движение вперед. This very, very common mistake when gymnast no finish snap down by feet already used arms, been used arms. Logically, feet, arms. Okay. You know, very important to teach gymnasts how you need to use elastic, elastics of the bar. If you talk about coach, we're trying to all by body weight and pushing bar down as much as possible. We're working from vertical to vertical and catch off opposite. When gymnasts push out, you have to push back towards horizontal. So force goes to, towards horizontal and push now down before going vertical. And finally, you walk in another horizontal when you finish the push. So walking from horizontal to horizontal force. Для того, чтобы понять, как работает перекладина, надо начинать с простого со стойки. Гимнаст должен входить в закрытое положение, потом идет расхлест, и за счет жесткости плеч надо натянуть перекладину. Если вы расхлест делаете и опускаете плечи, перекладина не будет смещаться вместе с гимнастом. So how to explain to gymnast what the horizontal means? So gymnast enter to the handstand, has to feel this position handstand. Then gymnast has to push very active towards horizontal. In horizontal shoulders must be very strong, which is strong shoulders with the body start push, pulling the bar to horizontal. If your shoulders very supple, you can't really pull the bar, shoulders, the bar. Bar will be stayed in the same position and shoulders will be just drop. So if you push with very uh, weak, flexible shoulders, you're never going to be pulled back, the backwards. It's most important to understand how you can pull the bar when you're pushing, bar, pushing arms forward and pulling the bar in the horizontal. That's most important for this element. Если вы освоили это упражнение, надо приступать к следующему. Чуть добавлять скорости и выработать ритм на скорости. Это дает большую амплитуду. So as soon as you see the and gymnast understand how you need to uh, do with action, so you can add the speed because more powerful speed of the giants giving you more amplitude. The flight flight will be much higher above the bar. Для этого в первую очередь надо научиться разгонный оборот. Он делается простым начальным движением. Как можно позже надо ставить so very very important to teach uh, giants action for that catch off, which is required for this uh, case. You pass in vertical, hips leading, first as possible. Then you kick over, passing uh, over the uh, kick across. You, you feel in support, and for this for this moment you push in the towards horizontal. Для этого подходящее упражнение, оно более простое, это э, поставить, снять ноги вместе. It's why the exercise what we do, giants stoop on, stoop off. For little kids we teach it, that is particularly will help for this action to teach. Первый раз не получилось. Почему? Потому что он рано начал ноги ставить. Второй раз и третий уже ничего, потому что он выждал положение и потом начал ставить ноги. Это основное для разгонного оборота. As you see, first attempt wasn't successful because he started making leg left, lifting feet too early. Second attempt was better. He passed vertical further and he comfortable did stoop on. Почему это надо как можно позже? Потому что при длительном ожидании турник пойдет вместе с вами. И когда вы начнете ставить турник, на турник он возвратится, бросит его. То есть надо растянуть турник на этом. So in same, same if you look at the attention of, of bar, 
When your long hips open, the bar actually with gymnast going away, same way. When you put feet on, bar movement will be come back to when it was before, even go further. Bar always will walk in the very like that, yeah. После этого он сейчас сделает то же самое. И следующим движением он будет подготовку к качелу. So now he going to do same element, then preparation for catch off. Look up. Wait. It's elemental. Ali. Ali, Ali. Preparation. Да. Какая ошибка? Он немножко, надо, чуть раньше надо расклёс. Он немножко поздно сделал расклёс. Когда заложился на... So when he started doing catch off action, he fit he kick across a little bit too far and feet going too far. When you push, he already passed horizontal. Everything happened below horizontal. It's quite late. And second part of the action, snap heels in reverse with push, was difficult to do because everything come too late. Then he going too high to was. So advice after push off, stretch the shoulders. Most important, stretch the shoulders. Strong in strong. Все неплохо. Но он в этом положении немножко рано начинает работать руками, не заканчивая движение расклёс. It wasn't too bad first action, and second action he's pushing a little bit too, too uh, рано или поздно. Он рано, в смысле поздно начинает расклёс. He's uh, pushing too late. И раз so. из-за этого он рано начинает работать руками. Because he's finished too late, that's a, a, a evidence. He's working very early the uh, arms, eh? so it's runner, Robert. Normal So the good example, if you see finish the action before the vertical, if you gymnast but, uh, rhythm taken over, everything was slightly too late. Вот это первый этап подготовки гимнаста. Теперь э, сразу скажу, что гимнаста этому элементу нельзя учить ноги в росте. Почему? Потому что это движение, которое основное в этом упражнении, оно пропадет. Гимнаст будет разги... разводить рано ноги, и у него не будет вращения вперед. Окей, и это первый этап учения Катчев. Следующий release the bar and very very strong recommendation almost says please don't teach catch off and straddle you need to teach catch off straight with legs together if you're teaching and straddle you created lots and lots of different habit never complete never finish the good swings so you're making more trouble for yourself and for gymnasts uh, Ротацион, а, фу, против, про, контр, контр по-русски, как же, да, да. контр, контр, ротацион, против вращательный период. Because we need created the habit, rotation backwards, transition into forwards. This is important action, which it will take a while before 100% gymnast would accept it and will be remembered. Только за счет этого движения происходит подъем гимнаста вверх. Because only these two actions make it lift the gymnast above the bar towards the vertical. Now we, everybody has to move to the bar. We're going to look at the how they do practically people doing preparation. Дальше продолжение лучше делать с помощью тренера со страховкой. He said, next step, best to do with support by coach. What about pad? Использовать. Можно? Они садятся на pad. 
Вот это в начале. В начале ну, небольшого, так надо, небольшого, сказать, небольшого. надо это да. сказать. Да. And as well, because we have for safety, we use a pad. And better if two coaches, one coach will be pushing mat or maybe gymnast, and other coach helping to shape up. Oh yes, maybe lots of makeup I did. Oh yeah. It's very wet body. It will be quite challenge for coach to support him. Анатолий very excited and very happy because he sees the good technique. That's exactly what for first steps good enough. И больше надо увеличить амплитуду почти стойки, но с, с этим с проводкой. Then we choose a big amplitude, almost start from handstand, faster action, still with support, and gymnast has to go higher and higher with support. Увеличить амплитуду, и потом уже начинать надо с, с большой амплитуды, но только вместе. Можно со страховкой, можно уже с машоном, когда гимнаст полностью освоит, что он после отпускания рук начинает вращаться вперед. А вы call курбет это? Курбет, курбет вперед. Анатолий, just want to remind the, as soon as gymnast comfortable do the push power way, heels going down, arms fall over the hips, which is we call front курбет, as from previous lecture. And same technique we're trying to from giants, which is already quite ready from powerful. Гимнаст приходит вот в это положение. Это положение, как после переворота вперед. So, а потом can you imagine, he's finishing handspring, as on floor, and from this position he's doing courbet. It's why the action on the bar very remind this courbet action. And gymnast, pass all this preparation exercise, we need to put from the giants, from powerful, catch off with straight body, with support and pad. За счет этого движения происходит подъем гимнаста вверх. So if all action come together, we get maximum lift of the bar and out catch off will be exciting to watch, which will be one meter above the bar. When you using straps, because it's easier moving giants on straps, very different when a choke bar. You need to give it time, adapt the different uh, uh, movement of the choke bar. When gymnasts feel quite comfortable, have a go and try. Практически без ошибки исполнил. Единственная ошибка, он немножко поздно начал расплёс. So it's quite good performance. So a little bit would be nice early, early first action. Still need to be early. So he gone deep, too deep down a bit. Like I говорил, самая лучшая поза для расплёс это горизонтальный. Он уже после горизонта начал расплёс. Even the gymnast already been practicing quite a long time, still we have difficult to explain to him when exactly horizontal. It's by time, by practice, gymnast will find the way. It will take a time. At this moment, he's passing vertical horizontal quite far. Principe. Ошибка в чем у него была? Он поздно начал расхлестывать, поэтому не успел отработать руками, и у него плечи продолжили вращение назад. Поэтому so, он не взялся. So, uh, mean, mistake, quite obviously, we can see, very late he started a second action. Second donkey uh, courbet was quite late. That's what mistake happened. So uh, he was going quite late. He didn't complete with arms as well, and they all travel over the bar, not in good rotation of some body. Gymnast. Always nice if gymnast using a bit low bar. Psychologically, it's very easy to approach for the big element, and they feel more safety on low bar. Он сейчас попытается исправить эту ошибку. He's trying to make correction for for his techniques.
That's a good example, and thank you very much to you, because we finished all very good touch of everybody's dream. Thank you. Thank you, Anatoly. Thank you.